old mate uh, Kieran was with old mate Simeon this morning on breakfast, and um, I, even this, I don't have it like queued up to the second, but they were talking about the bill. I tell you one thing that kind of ticked me off today is the the that the um, New Zealand First members and the National Party members look like complete cucks. They're like, oh, you know, we don't agree with this. This is in the house. We don't agree with this. This is, you know, too simplification of a a, a, a conversation which has been brewing over 184 years. You know, we don't think this is the way to go forward. Are you voting for it? Yes. I'm like, you know, it's you know what it, you know what it felt like. Mm. It felt like you fucking cowards. That's what it felt like. It felt like you slimy little cowards. Um, because you know. I'll, I'll, I'll show you, actually. I, I put a thing on my Twitter feed today. I'm probably not going to find it. Because um, you know how we like to help the mainstream media, Chewy? And I put a thing on my Twitter feed today, uh, which says, you know, this is this is called me searching the internet whilst we're doing a live show, um, which says, uh, 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 um, to help our mates out, here we go. Oh, it says this. What website's that you're on? Uh, this is uh, the, the, the website formerly known as Twitter. So it says this, oh. hey, journalists with access, let me help you. Journalist, Mr. Luxon, you agree that about, you agree that the treaty principle bill is divisive, to which he would say yes, because he's already said that. Journalist, then you agree that you yourself are adding to the division by helping this divisive bill go through its first reading. Mm. Mm. So you are the problem, Mr. Luxon. It, it, so no matter, just, no matter it, how it, many of your MPs how many of your MPs, how many times you say we're not going to support it, you know, we don't believe this is right, fucking, what's her name, old mate? I don't know what I'm saying old mate for everybody today. Louise Upston getting up in the house today. Over Oversimplification, is it oversimplification, did a, and then you're voting for it. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, you don't get to wash your hands of it. This creates division, doesn't it, Mr Luxon? Yes. So you're in part causing a division, aren't you, Mr, Bu Mr. Luxon? <laughs> Head explodes. No, why no, I, 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 I don't agree with that. Why is it getting six months of select committee? Mm -hmm. Why? That's also not something that's 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 fucking guaranteed. Yeah. So why is he getting it? It's a dead duck. If Luxon is to be believed, it is a dead duck. There is heaps yep. of things that he could have done. Yep. Could have allowed a conscious vote rather than a party vote. Yep. He could have had a truncated select committee process because it's not going anywhere. So let's not yep. waste time with this. Yep. But no, he's he's allowed Seymour to dog walk him from the coalition negotiations yep. all the way through this year, just stirring up the shit. Yeah. And he yep. needs to own it because he's the guy that did the negotiations. He's the deal maker. This yep. is the deal that he made. So the deal that he made, as you're saying, Chewy, is divisive and is going to cause division. So the deal that Luxon inked and agreed to is causing division. So therefore Luxon is involved, as is Winston, in causing division in this country, even though today they got up in the house and went, oh, you know, we don't like this and we're not going to support it and we don't think this is the way forward. It was like, you absolute cowards. You, you David Seymour cucks and you cowards. I just got, it was, it was, I got kind of furious because it's just like, and, and what Chloe did, I, I forget the term she used, but you're able to call for a, something like a personal vote or an individual personal vote, vote yeah. personal vote. Mm -hmm. And Could she was looking tough. to call for it. And she challenged the hell out of the national party in particular, and basically said in a much more polite way what I just said you bunch of cucks do the right thing mm. anyway we'll get to we'll get to more of that as we're going through but I want to have a listen to the conversation from this morning I've, I haven't actually I've heard most of it I, I've heard all of it about uh Karen and Simeon and Simeon goes down the path of why is Labour always talking about this thing there's more important things to talk about as it's the biggest topic in New Zealand at the moment amongst everybody let's have a listen shall we Simeon I'm going to start with you has this been a waste of time yes Finish. Next no, question. No, no, this is part of our coalition agreement uh, with the ACT Party at the last election. We agreed to support this bill. Not an answer. It's a, it's a, it's a government bill. You got to, We cannot accept this answer. It might be a part of a coalition agreement, but it's a government bill. You own it. This is not an ACT bill that National is supporting. This is a government bill.
Sorry, my dude. You don't get to palm it off. Sorry, Mr. Luxem. You don't get to palm it off. You own this. Uh, to its first reading. But look, we're very clear the National Party's position uh, is different from the ACT Party's position. We uh, campaigned uh, not to support this bill during the election, but we had to negotiate a coalition agreement. What we have done, though, is we've rebalanced uh, the the issues that uh, New Zealanders were getting concerned about oh, during last year's election. Up. We've stopped co-governance in the public services. Uh, we've repealed um, Labor's um, co-government oh. three waters. So what he's saying is... Uh, we were sort of semi-racist, semi-racially energised in these areas, co-governance in the Māori Health Authority, but we're not prepared to quite go as far as Mr Seymour wants to go. But we can be racially insensitive and, and um, put the knee on the neck of Māori in these areas, but David Seymour kind of wants to put both knees and both elbows mm. at the same time. We're not mm. quite prepared to do that. So we want to distance ourselves from that whilst we've still put our knee on the neck of Māori on other policies. Yeah, it's a good defence. We're, we're, I was going to say we're Hitler. Everyone's talking about you. Don't call them Hitler. It's a, sorry, whatever. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're, I don't know, we're short. He's just half as short again. I can't think of an example. We're bad. He's just worse. We're the skinniest kids at fat camp. That's what he's basically saying. You know, I was like, ah, oh, we go. Sorry, I'm ranting already, Chewy. Do you want to say anything? Just keep playing. <laughs> no, let's let the wee fellow with the eyebrows continue. Because okay. it's probably past his bedtime. Uh, we're, we're sorting out those issues which were uh, concerning New Zealanders, which the last government were, fix, were, 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 um, were, were going down were, the track of um, that division that they were pushing. But however, we're not going to be pushing, uh, we're not going to be supporting this bill past uh, first reading. You, can, you, can, you, can you get the balls on these guys? How Labor I, I can't, was supporting. No balls. No balls. <laughs> was Labor was supporting divisive policies. Like, I mean, like, I, you have to almost admire the gumption from someone who is supporting this most divisive uh, bill we've probably seen since 1981, since the Springbok tour, and they're going, oh, but how divisive were Labour? You know, they wanted Māori to have their own health authority, and they're divisive, and we got rid of the divisive stuff, and we hate this thing too. It's like, come on, my dude, just get a bit of haircut and get on with life because we don't think that's the right approach uh, to dealing with these very complex issues. Kieran, come on in. That's the line. We're not going to be pushing, uh, we're not going to be... That's the line. That they're very complex issues. They're all using... That's the that's the uh, being pushed through by probably Peed PR, one of the PR companies to these guys. They talk about this being a very complex issue and this is an oversimplification of it. That's how they're getting around it with, like, uh, with Seymour. Supporting this bill passed... Uh, first reading because we don't think that's the right approach uh, to dealing with these very complex issues. Kieran, come on in. This has got to be a waste of time, right? Well, the question was, was it a waste of time? And he said, no, not at all. And then proceeded to explain that it's not going to go past first reading, which seems to me like a massive waste of time. And well, why the hell are we doing it? And the answer to that good lad. is because Christopher Luxon isn't as good as a negotiator as he made out. Ooh. And he agreed to something that has actually turned out to be incredibly controversial. They're running away from it as far as they can. But the truth is, they can't actually run away with it because it all boils down to the fact that the National Party agreed to this. Yes. The coalition agreement. I think Kieran's been listening to us. He's getting some, mm. some picking up some talking friend, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. <laughs> Old leader, leader Kieran. <laughs> says that this bill will go to select committee. What it doesn't say is that it will go through a full select committee process. So they could have sorted that out. They could have also got the select committee to send it straight back to the house and got rid of it. But yep. best of all, they could have just not agreed to this in the first place. Yep. And so I don't think that many New Zealanders believe the National Party when they say, don't you worry, we don't support this, we have to do this. Rubbish. They didn't have to agree to it, and now we've got to go through all this for no reason. So, I mean, Kieran makes well, that, would, that, would be the, that would be the definition. That, there is the diction, dictionary definition of a waste of time going through all this for no reason. That's actually what a... That's the, the the clinical definition of a waste of time. Went through right. a so, I mean, that's how the viewers well, are no, looking no, no. at it. We went through a as I said, as I said earlier, we went through a coalition uh, a negotiation last year. As New Zealanders know, it was a, a challenging negotiation. Um, we it? didn't get everything. Where where Seymour got everything he wanted, basically, and Peter's got everything he wanted. They keep saying Seymour didn't get what he wanted because he wanted this to go, you know, go to no, no. I think that what Seymour wanted at at, at the least was this to put into the public square to then be spun off next year and the year after and the year after. I think Seymour's got exactly what he wants from this. No, Seymour's smart enough to know he would never have gotten this through. So in other words, he negotiated exactly what he wants and he got it. And Baldy Locks actually didn't. 
So this is not a lose lose. This is a win for act lose. You know how Luxon said the other day, oh yeah, it's a lose lose. And it's like, well, what a terrible kind of negotiation. No. Act act this has won is, in this. This is going to play amazingly yep. with Act's base yep. and the people to the extreme right of national voters that don't think national go hard enough. Yep. And next time round, maybe their vote will sl- switch to ACT. And that is what they, like the next step for ACT is, is, is to eclipse the Green Party, get 20%, whatever. That's what they're doing. They're growing yep. their own share. They don't want to be a minor party. They don't want to be a party of 8%. They want to be more. So this is going to play amazingly with them. Look at yep. what we made the bigger party do. Yep. We made yep. them be more racist. Just like you asked us to do, and and they and they seen that, yeah, and they won't. Um, and and come the next election, there's already a narrative among some sectors of the media about how Luxon is soft and Luxon is not taking the democratic process. And all those people who believing that from what's being said in the media at the moment are then going to be primed for prime minister didn't do what we wanted to come to act next time round. They're just they're just being primed for it, and that's exactly what. Um, mm. Seymour would have wanted, so he got exactly what he wanted. And we wanted uh, David Seymour didn't get everything he wanted. Yeah. Uh, but what the national government uh, and national party did uh, pu- push for was a, a rebalancing of some of those issues. The last government were pushing around co-governance, we have fixed those issues. Uh, this is a proposal put forward by the ACT Party. We agreed to put it to a select committee. It is not going any. It's a government bill. Further beyond that, full stop. It's not going any further beyond that, full stop. Again, definition of a waste of time. Before but the, Simeon, election, the King's Council have come in, and now the latest to criticise the bill, Simeon. Yeah, look, <coughs> should David Seymour be there's lots of people. His there's position? lots of people. No, look, there's lots of people out there with lots of views in New Zealand around these. Yeah, that's actually not true. There's not lots of people with lots of different views. There's basically some people with two different views. There is a small mm. sector with one view, and there is a large percentage of the population with a different view. So there's not lots of people with lots of this, uh, uh, of different views, uh, Mr. Brown. I'm sorry you're wrong with that. People, no, look, there's lots of people out there with lots of views in New Zealand around these <coughs> issues. And we, you know, that's part of a democracy. Uh, this will go to a select committee. Um, those people will be able to have their say. But ultimately, right. the National Party has said, we're not supporting right. this uh, any further beyond that. Uh, and as the Prime Minister says, if it is going to go into law, that's going to require Labor, the Labor Party to actually Ugh. get it into law. We're not supporting it into law. That'll require them to do so. They think that's such a clever line they keep saying. Have it. you got that? So basically Luxon's little line is, well, because we're not supporting it, if this would be like, uh, law, Labor would have to support it. So he's trying to actually fob off a, 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 um, what is it, a multiverse where Labor supports this as his out. It's utterly ridiculous. Not supporting it into law, that'll require them to do so. They think that's such a clever line, they keep saying it, but I mean, for God's sake, how pathetic can you get? At the end of the day, they agreed to this. They went into the election campaign promising New Zealanders that this wouldn't see the light of day. Yep. And then for the sake of forming a coalition agreement, they agreed to it. That yep. is a broken promise right from the get-go, and now they're trying all these cute lines to try and justify it, but they can't justify it. This didn't need to be the case. They've broken a promise and now they should front up. I think it's uh, pretty disgraceful, frankly, that they have manufactured this to have its first reading on a day that the Prime Minister isn't there. I've got no criticisms of the Prime Minister not being there on a Thursday, they never are. But it's deliberately put there on a day that he isn't there. He's run away like a kid that's just been told oh, off. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Is it really? That is ridiculous. So you've he's got the PM to, there. He's heading he's to saying, say, oh, he's... no, 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 don't <coughs> worry, we're not going to support it. It's all good. We'll front up and tell people that. Oh, he's he has been, avoided questions throughout. He has been answering questions And you try that every little line. Way. Oh, <laughs> the only way it's going to survive is if the Labour Party does it. I mean, come on. on. I mean, how yeah. stupid do you think people are? Well, this I, is Chris Luxon's fault. He should front up and, and face the music. That, that's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Ultimately, the, really? the, the Labour Party has been spending every single question time asking questions about this, rather than actually asking of questions course. about the issues that Kiwis are focused on, which is the economy, <laughs> reducing law, and, uh, reducing crime, getting restoring law and order, Rejoicing making sure our children are at school. Ex- Those are the issues <laughs> that New Zealanders wake up about and care about every single day. Labor's been spending right. question times talking about this, and the Prime Minister's been answering those Simeon, questions. He's not been hiding from that. this at all. I'm glad you touched on That's it. I'm going to go into another conversation. That's the end of it. But, you right. know, 
It's an interesting tactic to try and say uh, Labor would have to support this to, for it to go through. And this idea that they're, they are running away from it. You just, like, please, people watching, people who hate us and we're watching, just be honest. Just be honest. This is there because Luxon allowed it to be there. Mm. Yeah, We don't have to go any further. Just be honest about it. Sorry, Cherry, go. Yeah, look, we, we, we talked about um, Luxon sneaking off early. Yep. Didn't want to hear from the abuse and state care people. Ducked out, didn't see the point in leadership there. Yep. Um, has it has it fronted? Look, yes, look, he's he's fucked off to Peru, which which is hilarious because Peru's just like if, if you had to get out of town, why not Peru? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like of all places. Hey, look, he is going for an international APEC conference, it's a legitimate thing, sure. But he could have gone this evening, he could have flown out this again, evening, yeah, op optics, yeah political capital these are things that luxon is blind to he's seen an opportunity to duck and i, uh, I believe he has uh i believe that there would have been other options there, there would have been moments to front to it he does not want any of this to stick to him and he will duck dive dodge dip and duck uh, to make sure that his fingerprints aren't on this, and I will not let that happen. Is it because he's a dick? I was just thinking of another D word there. It's like, does that work? It, it does. And I, I could um, edit, edit it in so I add dick on the end. Um, <laughs> hang on, you add and, and dick just, on just the end? Just because I had, a, had it queued up. Okay, right. I had it queued up to do it. It's just too funny. Yeah. It, it's like, let's play a game of, 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 of Where's Luxo? Yeah, okay, it's cool. Not there. All right. It, 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 oh, no, no, no. It's not there. No. Oh. Uh, is, he, is he there? He's over, he's over here. Oh, okay. He's he's here somewhere. Oh, yep. yep. I think. That, yeah. That's not Wellington. And it's not no. near the responsibility for him negotiating a shit deal because he's a shit negotiator and a shit leader that got dogged walked by a one-two combo of Winston and Seymour, and he wanted to be Prime Minister, and he was negotiating with those two, and a clock, and he wanted to be Prime Minister. And that was the end game, because there's a, there's a knighthood at the end of that for him, and it'll I, get him into some sort of country club, whatever. That's the game. It's not to be good for New Zealand. It's to build a personal legacy. I, um, and he uh, has bought this division. He has upended re race relations in this country and put it back 20 to 30 years because he wants a knighthood. I just thought, though, Chewie, he should have filmed himself in the, in the chamber asking questions and responding to questions because the last time he was overseas... He had a little video that said he was in Rotorua. Remember at the Kiwi, Kevin Kiwi for us. So <laughs> maybe why didn't he? Why maybe didn't he just film it? Onto it? Why didn't he just film himself like three or four days ago answering questions in the house, and then claim he was in the house? Because you know he's got he's got form for that, doesn't he? Oh, Tapuki. Sorry, he's in Tapuki at the Kiwi Fruit Growers. I'm in the Kiwi Fruit Growers today while he was in Hawaii at his uh, apartment. Which I'm sure because is he's, docked he next is, to John Key's apartment. Oh, he is so bad at this. Mm. Like every, like we say, well, I say it all the time, but it's just every now and then you don't say it for a little while and you forget about it. And then he does something to just to bring it crashing home. How bad he is at this. Mm.